Welcome back to Princess Maker 5. In the last episode, Helena managed to cap a lot of her skills. She's capped in fencing, capped in martial arts, capped in language, capped in analytics, capped in acting, and now we're working on capping her in dancing. I don't know what this is going to mean for her, especially since she has no morals whatsoever, but it is what it is. And I believe this is going to be the last episode of the series, so hang on, it... It's probably going to be a good ride, and I'm actually eager to see Helena grow up. Another school year has come and gone, and it is time once again for Helena to go on a vacation with us. So we have plenty of... No, we don't. We have 843,000 yen. Where did all my, all my yen go? Oh, crap. Well, looks like we're staying here because I don't think I can go into super debt just to go to South America. So we're gonna head to Hokkaido, and hopefully that will be enough. But once again, we're going to uh, have ourselves a little bit of a gamble here. This will bring us down to about 340,000 yen, and we don't, it is snowing in March, and we don't know how much, oh, that's still a cute picture. Anyway, we don't know how much we're going to be getting this next year because, you know, being self-employed, you have a variable amount of income. So let's see. We are currently sitting at 243, so I miscalculated somewhere. So 243,000 yen, and then the next week we have uh, 1 million yen. So we've got the maximum uh, 800,000 yen a month. Yep, 800,000 yen every month. Evil Genius 2 must have come out. I must have gone viral once again. And now I'm knocking on the door of Markiplier. I'm coming for you, Markiplier, with your 24 million subs and my 4,400. I'm, I'm coming for you. You know, as I'm playing here, I'm realizing that once again, the real superpower in the world and in games like this is being rich. Just like Batman. Oh, shoot, I get to choose my club this year? Uh... Well, let's see. Let's go, let, let's try something wacky and go do swimming. No, 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 wait a minute. Is there a music club? Yes, choir's club, let's do that one because once we cap dancing, we'll switch over to music. So let's, let's do choir's club. Anyway, just like Batman, our real superpower is just being rich, and that gets us what we need. I have my character in my novel, a link you can find in the video description to go by One Step Toward Divinity, which is a damn good uh, fantasy action novel, if I do say so myself, because I wrote it and narrated it. Anyway, um, I my main character there talks about that too, that even though he's a... Uh, hero so to speak and he's really good at what he does and he stops evil and all that the true superpower he has is that he's rich and i know that doesn't make for a very good uh story but it's true like if you have a retinue of servants or at least you have some form of income that allows it so you don't have to worry about sleeping on the ground and eating berries every day then you're going to be in a much better position than, uh, than someone who is poor and trying it. A poor farmer who just decides to be a survivalist is not going to be as healthy or have as much time that they need in order to be a hero. Is Am I being a wet blanket? Am I being a wet, piss-covered blanket right now when I talk about that stuff? Just like me shitting on everybody's dreams in the last episode or two episodes ago when I'm all, hey... Following your dream blindly is probably not going to work out for you. Am I being a piss-covered blanket? I don't want to be a piss-covered blanket. That's how I feel, though. I'm, I'm more pragmatic than being a full dreamer. I am a dreamer. I wouldn't do YouTube for eight years if I didn't believe in some recess of my body that... And let's not talk about which recess it is that I couldn't make it. I mean, I'm still trying. That's why I'm doing these videos and disciplining myself to do daily episodes and all that. But still, I I don't think I'm ever going to get to Markiplier levels or Game Grumps levels or Game Theorist levels or anything like that. But I got to try, you know? That's the difference. I'm not a fatalist, 
I'm just a realist. I'm a pragmatist. I'm a, I'm a, no, you can't go to the bookstore. What do I look like? A good father? It's another weigh-in day because it's April 21st. She is 175.87 centimeters and 55.10 kilograms. Future Pyro, please put up the translation. That's probably where she needs to be. I mean, I would still say she could be a little heavier, but I know Japan and I know, you know, the general consensus that ladies should be super light. So I'll probably put her, not on a diet, but tell her to eat healthy at this point, because it's probably about where she needs to be. You have superior stamina. I've grown taller again. What should I do if this continues like this? <gasps> How was it, Helena? Your dimensions. Haha, <laughs> nice breast size. I'm gonna just skip over this scene again. Helena has capped her ballet. So our plan goes into effect here. We get rid of all of the ballet bits and we replace it with piano like that. So much money we're spending, but we're gonna be getting 100,000 for the hero show, which is useful. And I can futz with her bars again, I like so. Helena's doing pretty well. Let's keep going. The other advantage of making her eat a little less is I think I'm going to save a little bit of money. Yes, it would cost 75000 if I said fancy 100000 Just like I do YouTube to get laid, I have a daughter to make me money. So hopefully, with that little change, I'll save a few bucks every month. Helena has now turned 18. In previous Princess Maker games, the game ends when she turns 18, or I think in Princess Maker 1 it was 19 because of the way they figure ages. I assume in this game it's not going to end yet. I think it's going to end when she finishes her senior year of school. And I haven't seen any information regarding her... What would you like? I guess... Dance music? Would you like dance music? Boy, I hope you'll like dance music. Anyway, I haven't seen any special messages about what year it is for her. Not super thrilled about it. Well, at least she's a little happier. Anyway, I haven't seen any information regarding what year it is for school. And I assume there will be some secret or secret, some uh, special dialogue when it is her final year. It'll probably just be like, I'm entering my last year of school, oh no. So I will definitely halt the video or the time skipping, whatever, if I get any clue about that. If this is her last year of school, we will definitely end the, ep the uh, game on this episode. Ooh, ooh, it's my favorite voice to do here. Hey, let's get going already. What should I do? I got lost in a place like this. Is anybody there? Eh, is that a flashlight? No, perhaps it's <gasps> our friend. This is it. This is it. I know that we've met three or four or 20 times by now, but that's still one heck of a scream. Perfect timing. I was about to go back because no one had realized I'm here. Care to talk to me for a bit? That's something I wouldn't mind. Thanks. Then let me begin. Um, it was when I was still young and prime. I had many issues to think over. Wow, what a pleasant person you are. I have never had such a night in quite some time. All right. This is for listening to my story. I'll make your speciality sh to shine even more. There. Thanks! Musical ability up, because everything else is capped. I wonder if you liked it. It may have been boring, but do come again. I will every time I can, little ghost. Helena has capped her musical ability, and when the new school year started, I don't think that I saw that she is entering the last year, so I wonder if we've still got a year to go? I kind of hope not. I mean, in a sense, but anyway, now that she's done with that, um, let's see what she can do here. Okay, I've loaded her up with art classes. 
She has zero points in it right now. If I really wanted to go for capping the closest thing, I would have her work so she can work on her sales, but... No, let's make her creative. Go with Artist. Well, 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 look who comes crawling back now that Helena is an E-Cop. I'm sorry about the last time I said something really mean. I'm truly regretting what I said back there, but I know it's taken some time, but, um... Did you make peace with me? Oh, come on, when you put it that way, it makes me so nervous. Of course I'd like to, let's make peace. That's good to hear, thanks. Let's get along from now on. Okay! You stupid bastard! It's another year and we are going to once again have Helena sell some Christmas cakes. So let's see if I get myself another present from Santa. There he is again! Oh, Santa, I'm happy just to see you. It is my mission to bring happiness to all the Haven Kaz here, Tega. Well then, thank you. All right, my dears, let's be off. Okay. Received information paper. What a great present. Even though there were no special dialogues at the beginning, at least none that I saw, now the graduation ceremony is taking place. Ah, today marks the end of my school life. So many things happened. There are even those who are saying goodbyes today. I want to mess up this ceremony. You're so tough, Hitoshi. But we can still always hang out should we want to. Be positive about it. Yeah, until jobs and life take you guys to opposite ends of the country, and then you don't stay in touch even though Facebook exists. Uh... Yeah, right. But I still want to mess it up. Good boy, Hitoshi. Yo, Helena. Hey there. In return- oh, that's just Valentine's Day crap. Okay, well, we're still probably closing out the game soon. Well, the game is still going on, so I wonder where the cutoff is. Maybe it's her 19th birthday, or maybe just once a certain date happens? I guess we'll see. All I know is it's a spring break, and I intentionally cut her art classes in half the month before. That way I knew we would have plenty of money to go places, and yeah, we can go abroad to Africa. It'll cost 1.1 million yen. That'll hurt, but we have 1.3 million yen, so we should be okay. All right, Helena, let's travel abroad to Africa and hope the picture that shows up is not wildly racist. Okay, cool. It's just kitties in another friggin' bizarre state with her face and her body, but that's fine. Mother Nature is really amazing. This is why most... This is why people must protect it at all costs. Aw, you're so kind, Helena. Master, fabulous job on YouTube work. The Child Ring Fund is 800,000 again. <laughs> ah, I've got my diamond play button and everything. Ah, and after that, I've got a spend the last night. That's different. Okay, let's spend the last night. Looks like we're wrapping up everybody. All right, now it's time to sleep. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, father. Yeah, good night. After saying that, Helena went to bed. And after, and the promised eight years have passed. After graduating from high school, Helena has entered her, no, stop, and don't auto-click tax, damn it. After some time since Helena has left your side, a letter arrived for you. Abstract. Hey. Father, how are you doing? Hey, I am doing well here. I am tirelessly taking lessons every day. My body may be tired. It still feels rather good. My mind is clear as crystal. Where are you? I may not have got your concerned when I chose a path of a singer, but I am truly thankful that you let me pursue what I want to do. Since I made a choice, I just want it to be something I can brag about. And I want to let everyone in this country, I mean this world, to hear out my voice. There are no boundaries in music. I really hope that one day my voice would reach the end of this universe. I'm taking my lessons and thoughts like that. All big dreams start with a small step, right? Right, fucking start. That's how you start your dream. You gotta start. Go after your dream with passion. It is you who taught me this invaluable lesson, and words aren't enough to thank you for this. Anyhow, I hope you will stay well and healthy and continue to listen to my music. From your daughter, Helena. You're assuming I don't immediately throw your CDs in the trash, but okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll continue to listen to them as they clatter against the bottom of the bin. I mean, great singing, Helena. Many years later. 
Aw, oh, that's a cute picture. Yes, I'm finally making my debut. Yep, yep, third week of June. There will be a commercial prior to the release, too. Yes, I will have a live performance. Come see me with Cube. Helena's first single album made a big hit and every seem everything seemed to be going smooth. Her sweet voice was received as Voice of Fairy, which became a big story. Then her outfit had to... Okay, guess I'm reading that later. Nope, I'm not an idol. Why would I even do something like that? I just want to express myself with music that has my soul. I don't need any fancy dresses. It has to be done in order to sell? Right, it would be troubling if it doesn't sell. Everyone who got involved needs to make their living too. But still, doing whatever just to sell sounds a bit wrong. I don't want people to look at me with prejudice. Even when I look at fan letters or entertainment programs, all they say is they can't wait to see my next dress. This is a joke. I want them to listen to my music. Yes, I'm still thankful to the producer, the person that brought me to where I am now, but I feel like hitting a wall. I'm sorry to have you worried, but I'm all right. I won't stop singing. And soon after that, Helena disappeared from popular stages. But it appears that the luck was still by her. Her musical talent was still being received positively. After leaving those stages while working on her music, she got an offer from a rather famous movie director. He claimed he is a fan of her and told her he wants to use her music for his next movie. The song was received as something that created nostalgia for many people and becomes a big hit with the movie. She instantly revived as a top singer. And after that, her first live performance at a dome opened. Everyone, thank you so much for coming all the way here! It's been quite some time since I've felt this hyped about the live show. It's all thanks to every one of you here. There are so many things that have happened, and I often think had to think about a lot of them. But I'm feeling so refreshed, as if that's what happened in the past was so foolish. Music is all that matters to me, after all. And I am happy for the fact that I can now enjoy this music with all of you. This has been my ultimate goal, and I thought only of achieving this goal and nothing else. I may have been getting you concerned with my adventures that took place until this time, but I'm restarting myself right here. Thanks for your support, and please keep on cheering me. And I give you this song to all you fans who have been a big support, and this one person. The person who has always been my biggest support, dear father. Aww. I love you too, Helena. Now, send me some cut of your royalties, because daddy needs to eat. And YouTube is probably gone by now. Oh, it's so cute, though. That's a cute picture. She may not be a princess, but she's a hell of a musician and able to revive her career. That's something special. Hooray! We did it! The game only took me 25 friggin' hours. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. I also have no idea what that text read, if it was even text. But I will let this play out. Rina Sato is the... Or Rina? Rina Sato is the voice actor? Whatevs. Good job, everybody. You all did great. The translation was just a little not, but everything else went fine. It makes me wonder where exactly I went wrong, because if you can even consider it wrong. But I thought she would wind up being sort of more of a everything rather than just you know a, a musician because she capped in so many skills so you you know I, I don't know how the game fully determines that kind of thing when there's ties but I would kind of wager that it was just sort of taking the skills in order and maybe the music skill was the first one on the list because she had capped a whole bunch of things so you would think it would have been a mix of skills not just one particular skill but this is fine. We've raised two bards. We had our Princess Maker 3 girl, uh, Kokoro? I think it was Kokoro. Kokoro became a wandering minstrel, and Helena's became become a pop singer, and I'm okay with both of those. Because unlike uh, Hitomi, who was a... Or Momiji, who was just a housewife, at least Hitomi got to do something kind of cool too. What did Hitomi do? Oh, Hitomi was quote-unquote just a housewife, but she also lived to be 127 and had a whole bunch of kids. So, good for her. And good for Helena. And good for everybody. This has been a heck of a journey. I would still recommend this game to anyone who is interested in these kinds of games. But man, this one took a while. Hold those control buttons for fast forward. Although, of course, doing that makes you miss a whole bunch of crap. And... Who knows what all I skipped over. We still didn't ever get her a boyfriend, so there's still plenty to do. Record of Pyro's Daughter. 
Hey, 177 centimeters tall, 56 kilograms weight. Let's see what her final measurements are. Her title is Swordmaster. She has an E cup. She has some very extreme numbers everywhere. Flexibility is negative 28. What the hell's flexibility? Cavity indicator is 24. Her most interesting thing is something about money. Cool. Probably should have taken her to the dentist. And also probably should have not spoiled her with so much money. But I'm okay with that. And since the game is nice enough to freeze at this screen, this is a good time to pop some soundless fireworks because this series is complete. I enjoyed it. I still like Princess Maker 3 better because of how quick and compact it is, but that's just me. If you like Princess Maker, check these out on Steam. I've got a link to Princess Maker 5 in the video description. And if you want to see more Princess Maker and haven't seen my other stuff, there are links in the video description to check out the other playlists for more Princess Maker 1, 2, or 3. So that's going to do it for today. Oh, here we go. Obtain skills. Yep, she has lots of 10s. Uh, I'll let you guys pause on this screen if you want. Um, oh, evaluation on education. Meal was normal. Allowance was normal. Time of returning home, I was soft. Study and play was soft. Etiquette was very strict. I'm okay with that. Personal relations was soft. Teamwork was normal. Thoughts process was strict. Okay. Elementary school elective club activity. Fifth grade calligraphy and athletic... Okay, so again, you can pause if you want to read all those. Most executed study was ballet. Most executed part-time job was mover. And yet she became a singer. That's interesting. I wonder why that happened. Classmate relations. Here we go. Uh, there were some people I didn't get to meet at all. Relationship with parent was 100. Oorah. Her popularity was only 46. Yeah, there's a way you can marry your daughter in this. In fact, if you Google Princess Maker 5, like the third thing that auto-completes is marry daughter. It's a little messed up. I mean, granted, she's not blood related. And in every Princess Maker, you could marry your daughter, but no, just no. Final result, singer, four stars. I, okay, I'll take it. I'll take singer, four stars. I will absolutely take singer, four stars. And there we go. Yes, I would like to, nope. If I click in, it's going to close the game and probably make my recording explode. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. Check out those links below, and if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to Patreon or PayPal. Your donations are very useful to keep the lights on and to keep me going. So I appreciate all of that. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because dang, man, you went through an entire uh, series, and you apparently liked what I do, so subscribe. Check out our other playlist. Thank you again, and I will see you again tomorrow for another series.